Good morning, my dear friends. I am Dr. K. V. Balasubramanian, a retired meteorologist from Chennai. Azadika Amrud Mahotso. I am publishing videos from 26th January 2022, and I plan to please up to 15th August 2000, a series of videos. The topic is growth and development of IMD, India Meteorological Department. Today, I am going to talk about weather radars in general. And then later I am going to talk about weather radars in India. So it's a very weak topic. I intend to uh, speak only for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So this I have divided into several parts and this is the first part of weather radars. I have a presentation, so I am sharing here. Azadika Amut Mahotsa video series, 26th January 2022 to 15th August 2022. Topic of the series is Growth and Development of India Meteorological Department. This is my YouTube channel, Balavin Kural. Friends who are watching this, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Before uh, talking about weather radar, we should know a little bit of history. So almost uh, different countries like uh, United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, Hungary, that uh, different uh, countries has claimed that they have built the first radar. But the generally accepted uh, theory is the discovery of radar started with the discovery of electromagnetic waves by Heinrich Rudolf Hetz of Germany. So he used a, he used an instrument, something like this. And with this, he produced an electromagnetic wave. The radar uh, was actually, uh, again, uh, in America, they say they have found out the principle of radar. That is, the electromagnetic waves get reflected by ships. So in uh, that river, Mitsubishi River, uh, not Mitsubishi, one river in uh, America. So they, in that, when the ships, uh, when they were testing with this electromagnetic waves, there was a thick fog. They did not see any ship uh, the, in the river, but there was a ship going very close to the other bank of the river. So that. Uh, reflected some of the electromagnetic waves. This was found out in uh, USA, like that they are telling. But the generally accepted theory is this Christian Holzmeier. He has found out an instrument called telemobile scope, which is used for determining ships. This was fitted in uh, ships in those times. So that collision of ships can be avoided. So a ship will know that some, some other ship is coming in front of it. So it will reduce its speed, change the direction. So like that. So this instrument, Telemobile Scope in 1904 is a precursor for the radar. 
So in Italy, Marconi, who is very famous for uh, finding radio. So he is also uh, put uh, some of his uh, contribution to the development of radar. So I have added a picture here. Marconi watching associate raising the kite, a levitter by BFS Badam Powell used to lift the antenna at St. John's Newfoundland in December 1901. Then another picture, Marconi operating apparatus similar to that used by him to trans transmit first wireless signal across Atlantic in 1901. So these informations are available in Wikipedia. So in Britain, it is claimed the first set of radars was uh, patented by Robert Watson, what? April 1935, British patent for the radar system for air defense granted to Robert Watson. What? So, uh, early, early military radar system and uh, um, Robert Watson bought operating a radar in front of his radar system. These two photographs I have added here. In fact, they have every uh, 200 kilometers or so they have installed a radar in the east coast of uh, England to detect the arrival of German plant planes. So how a radar works? Radio waves are generated and uh, emitted with the help of an antenna, the atmosphere, they get reflected by hitting on a target, meteorological target. Here they are clouds. The returned echo is detected with the help of a receiver. Since the radio waves travel at the speed of light, the time no, uh, is uh, uh, known for the echo to go and come back. So we can find the distance at which, the direction at which, the height at which the cloud is available. This is how a radar is working. So for a radar to work, we should have a, a transmitter. We should have a receiver. The radar waves are sent in the form of uh, pulses. So when one pulse is going, the transmitter will be connected to the antenna. In the pulse gap, the transmitter will be connected to the receiver so that the reflected signals are received. So there should be a transmitter, there should be a receiver, there should be a duplexer to connect the antenna to the transmitter when the pulse is on to connect the antenna, the receiver when pulse is off. Then there should be an antenna. Antenna is a very huge uh, uh, system. Uh, maybe sometimes its weight goes to about uh, one ton. So it has to be rotated 360 degree in the azimuth and zero to 90 degree in the elevation. So a very good antenna control unit should be there and then a display unit should be there to display the detected signals which are reflected by meteorological targets. Here I have shown that uh, block diagram of a radar transmission section separately I have shown. So waveform generator, it may be a magnetron or it may be a klystron. So it goes into a power amplifier. Then a pulse modulator also is uh, the signals are fed to it. Then it goes to the duplexer, which will send the pulses to the antenna when pulse is on and when uh, it will connect the receiver when pulse is off. So the receiver section I have put separately. So duplexer receive the signal, they will be very weak. It will not be very powerful as that of the transmitted base. So a low noise RF amplifier should be there to amplify it. Then a local oscillator for mixing the intermediate frequency oscillations with the received signals. Then that IF signals mixed with the uh, detected signals are amplified, detected, given to the video amplifier, threshold decision, and it is displayed. Threshold decision is 
suppose we are uh, detecting a cyclone so we are interested in knowing where exactly the heavy rainfall is going to occur so we will filter low uh, intensity uh, echoes and and we will ask the we can ask the radar to show only the high intensity echoes for this this threshold decision is there so then uh, Uh, in the india meteorological department we were using three types of radars x band radars they emit 3 cm wavelength radio waves this is used for thunderstorm uh, detection mainly they are all they were used in airports then s band radars these are all 10 cm wavelength uh, uh, emitters are there this is used for cyclone detection Uh, they were installed along the coast in the east coast as well as west coast in the east coast kolkata uh, paradip visakhapatnam masulipatnam madras karekal uh, in these places these radars were installed in uh, west coast puj mumbai goa now further additions are there then c band radars are 5 cm wavelength Uh, this is uh, mostly they were used in doordarshan uh, or telecommunication purpose but now they are also in use in uh, india imd so with this small introduction to radars i will further tell how the radars came into imd and how the development and growth in weather radars in imd has happened in the next video thank you